Hello parents, nice to see you again. Some of you haven't been in school for a little while. So let's give you a tour. Oh, this is the home. Mr. Gilbert's doing drama at the moment. Okay, let's come and see. Three, two, one, and go. We also have a wonderful library. Have a look around. Here are the girls' toilets. We won't be going in there. This is the hall! This is Five Beaches Classroom. Let's see what they've been doing this year. People need people to walk to, to talk to, to cry and rely and people always need people to love and to miss, to hug and to kiss, it's useful to have other people. To who to mourn if you're all alone, it's so hard to share when no one is there. There's not much to do when there's no one but you, people will always need people. To please, to tease, to put your at ease, people will always need people. To make life appealing and give life some meaning, people will always need people. If you need a change, to whom will you turn? If you need a lesson, from whom will you learn? If you need to play, you'll know why I say people will always need people. To have friendly fights with and share tasty bites with, it's useful to have other people. People live in gangs, posses and packs. It seems we need company before we relax. So stop making enemies and let's face the facts. People will always need people. Yes, yes people, people will always need people. people. In our art lessons this year, we have been looking at weaving. There are many famous weavers such as the Mexican Arnold for Mendoza, who began weaving rugs before his pieces were put on display in many museums around the world. Weaving involves going over and under each piece of the loom to get a desired effect. We had to make a loom first using sturdy card which we had to snip at the top and the bottom. We then attached pieces of strong wool along the cardboard to make our loom. Using a needle and thread, we weaved our patterns into the looms. Changing colours as we went. Here are some of our finished art pieces. All of the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain and ever again in the wake of an eye, painted stations whistle by. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles, all by himself gathering brambles. And here is a tramp who stands and gazes, here is a dream for stringing the daisies. Here is a cart ran away in the road, <clears throat> lumping along with man and load. And here is a mill, and there is a river, each a glimpse and gone forever. This is the music room. This is where we have our music lessons. 
We have been learning about musical notes in our music lessons. We have been learning how to read them and play musical instruments. Each note has a different name. This is a semi brief This means four beats. This is a minim. It means two beats. This is a crotchet. It means one beat. This is a crotchet rest. It means one beat. This is a minim rest. It lasts two beats. Homework, I love you. I think that you're great. It's wonderful fun when you keep me up late. I think you're the best when, I, when I'm totally stressed. Preparing and climbing all night for a test. Homework, I love you. What more can I say? I love to do hundreds of problems each day. You broke my mind. You make me go blind. But I'm still excited that you were assigned. Homework, I love you. I tell you, it's true. There's nothing more fun or exciting to do. You're never a chore for it to see I adore. I wish that our teacher would hand you up more. Homework, I love you. You throw me inside. I'm filled with emotions. I'm fit to be tied. I cannot complain when you fuzz on my brain. Of course, that's because I'm completely insane! In history, this year we have learnt about the Maya people. These people lived between 1100 BC and 1500 AD. The Mayan people were famous for their writing system as well as for art, architecture, math, calendars and their study of the stars. Society was split between priests and kings and those that farmed the land or built things. Did you know the Mayans used cocoa beans as a form of currency? The Mayan people worshipped over 150 different gods. Mayans believed their gods could change themselves into human and animal shapes. Priests would perform ceremonies to keep the gods happy. The Mayans thought thought the world was split into three parts. The heavens, the earth and the underworld which were all linked together by a giant tree. Mayan kings were also thought to become gods after death. Here are some of our drawings of the pyramid where the sacrifices to the gods were made.
Where did all the teachers go when it's four o'clock? Do they live in houses? Do they wash their socks? Do they wear pyjamas? And do they watch TV? And do they pick their noses the same as you and me? Do they live with other people? Have their mums and dads? Were they ever children and were they ever bad? Did they ever never say right? Did they ever make mistakes? Were they punished in the corner if they pinched the chocolate flakes? Did they ever lose their hymn books? Did they ever leave their greens? Did they ever scribble on desktops? Did they, did they wear all the dirty jeans? I'll follow one back home today. I'll find out what they do. Then I'll put it in a poem that they can read to you. Our geography topic this year has been rainforest. We have learned that where rainforests are found. Rainforests are found in countries near the equator such as Uganda, Kenya, Indonesia and Somalia. We have looked at Brazilian rainforest and how it is made up. The Brazilian rainforest has four layers. Each layer's particular, particular job is and is the habitat of different creatures. The forest floor. Here you find lots of insects and the largest mammals in the rainforest. Not much light gets to the forest floor and not many plants grow in the understory. Very little light is found here, so the plants here have to go large leaves to try and collect a small, small amount of light. Animals such as jaguars and tree frogs live here. The canopy, this acts as a roof over the two, la the two lower layers. Plenty of food is found here for animals such as snakes and toucans. The emergent layer, trees can be, too trees can be over 200 feet high here. Sunlight is plentiful. Animals found here are eagles, monkeys and butterflies. Shadows on the wall, noises down the hall, laugh doesn't frighten me at all. Bad dogs barking loud, big girls in a cloud, laugh doesn't frighten me at all. Mean old mother goose, lions on the loose, they don't frighten me at all. Dragon feeding flame on my counterpane, life doesn't frighten me at all. I go boom, make them chew, I make fun, way they run, I won't cry, so they fly, I just smile, they go wild. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Tough guys fight all alone at night. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Panthers in the park. Strangers in the dark. No, they don't frighten me at all. That new classroom where boys all pull my hair. Kissy little girls with their hair in curls. They don't frighten me at all. Don't tell me frogs and snakes and listen for my scream. If I'm afraid at all, it's only in my dreams. I've got a magic charm that I keep up my sleeve. I can walk the ocean floor and never have to breathe. Life doesn't frighten me at all, not at all, not at all. Life doesn't frighten me at all. In science, we have looked at different animals' life cycles, how they change and what the dangers are to them. Frogs have different stages of growth. Frogs spawn. Females lay their eggs in the water. Tadpoles had from the frog spawn. Tadpoles with legs at eight weeks, the back legs grow. Froglet at 12 weeks, the front legs grow and the froglet can begin to leave the water. The adult frog, the tail is totally absorbed by its body and the frog lives on land. On a Saturday, I can't believe it's true. I saw her buying groceries like normal people do. She reached for bread and turned around, and then she caught my eye. She gave a smile and said, "Hello." I thought I would die. Oh, hi, hello, Miss Appleton. I mumbled like a fool. I, I guess I thought that teachers time spent all their time at school. To make the situation worse, my mum was at my side. So many rows of jars and cans, so little room to hide. Oh please, I thought, don't tell my mom what I did yesterday. I closed my eyes and held my breath and hoped she'd go away. Some people think it's fine to let our teachers walk about. But when it comes to Saturdays, they should not let them out. 
big like your nose is on your face, not pasted on some other place. For if it were wet as you not, you might dislike your nose a lot. Imagine if your precious nose was sandwiched in between your toes. That clearly will not be a treat for you to be forced to smell your feet. Your nose is a source of dread when it attached atop your head. It soon will drive you to despair forever to go by your hair. Imagine within your ear, your nose would be an absolute catastrophe. For well, if you are obliged to sneeze, you bring rattle from the nose. You know the said through thick or thin. Remains between your eyes and chin. Now paste it on some other place. Be glad your nose is on your face. face.